Hello and welcome Zamora Gaming fans. I am your host, Joe Zamora here. And we're going to go ahead and continue our Nuzlocke journey with... <clears throat> oh my god. There we go. Sorry about that. With episode 2. And um, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't beat the first gym. I know we got to grind up a little bit though, so... We'll see how that goes from there. But... Let's see here. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get this party started. Oh, there we go. Got to click on that thing. And we're going to go ahead and grind up everyone to level 12. I feel like uh, we're going to need those levels as we enter the sprout tower so let's go ahead and try to get that there all right so we have a Natu here and Rocky she's not gonna stay in on this thing so let's go ahead and go to Eevee all right not to use Leer Eevee's fine we're gonna go ahead and go with bite super effective move Almost takes it out in one hit. Not quite though. Nightshade doesn't affect us. And we go for a tackle. Should get enough EXP. And we do. Level 10. Alright, so far so good. Alright, let's see what we encounter here. Another Natu. How original. Well, obviously, we're going to go switch out to our normal type here. And let's see. All right, we go for bite again and Oh, almost gets the kill. Goes for nice shit again. Alright. Alright, so Eevee is going good. I guess next Pokemon next time we see a Natu, we'll go ahead and switch into Tatter to get that. Uh get him a level up to ten. Alright, finally something not psychic, so we can stay in with Rakishi here. And Spin Art, or Spinner Act, uh, takes that on pretty well. Ooh, not quite takes it out. But not very effective hit. And then Tackle goes ahead and takes this thing out. So close to level 11. We'll get there. No worries. Ooh, a Psyduck. Um, this is a Drano game. So just in case he decided to throw a Psychic type move on Psyduck. I'm going to switch out. Okay, went for Water Sport, which is fine. Fire power is weakened, but we do not have a fire type Pokemon, so we're going to go ahead and go for the tackle here. And does over half, which is fine. And we should take this thing out, no problem. Okay, I did not go for a psychic type move, so I don't think I should be too worried about it. So we're just going to go ahead and take out another Psyduck if we see it. Just with Makuhita. Ooh, a Shinx. That would have been a great catch, but we did not catch that. Oh, got the Intimidate off on us. But let's go ahead and give it an Arm Thrust. Two. Three. Four. One more, baby. Oh, four times. It's okay. It wasn't going to knock it out on five anyway. 
So that doesn't affect us too bad, and I think a tackle should be able to finish this thing off. And it does. Level 11, here we come. Rakishi grinding these levels pretty well. Alright, let's go ahead and keep finding some more Pokemon to knock out. Oh, another Shinx. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the tackle. Okay, whoo. Almost over, almost half. Let's go ahead and finish it off with the arm thrust, hopefully. That was, this one wasn't intimidated either, so. Two times. Took it out. Alright, so that's 60. Probably two more battles with Makuhita, not against the Natu. Um, we should be able to get this level. Alright, <clears throat> let's go ahead and go for this tackle here, because bug poison, it's not going to affect it very well. This carrier face comes off, lowers our speed, which is fine. Bug bites cool eat also, it's not very effective. So it seems like Rakishi handles every other Pokemon except Nachu. Alright, so Rakishi knocks down that Spinarak, and let's see how much it gives us. Alright, so about two more battles now. I was too overly compensated on the other one. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Exactly 20 HP. And let's go ahead and continue on with our journey. Also, guys, I'm going to take this time to uh, let y'all know about our podcast that I do. Well, with me and my friends, of course. Uh, it's called Pokey Dippies on Spotify. And there's also other links in my post that it's available in. We're not in uh, Apple yet, I don't believe. I will check later today. But um, so far, Spotify, po Pocket Cast, and Anchor are where we are found. So, Pokey Dippies Podcast. Also, I will be posting the videos of those podcasts to my Patreon. And my Patreon is also in my post. I will link those later after I stream. So, you can make sure you get that link again. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you guys for watching a past stream um, but leave a like subscribe and follow us on Facebook as well because we really need the follows there and uh, don't worry not everything's gonna be based off of Facebook I do have a playthrough coming to YouTube soon of Pokemon Conquest I'm not gonna waste my time on a Kakuna Alright, spinner rack, here we go. Oh, we're already level 12. Alright, sweet. So I'm gonna switch to gun here. Alright, scary face goes off, which is fine. Didn't do no damage. We're gonna go ahead and tackle here. Bug bite comes off. Let's see what that does. And it does a steady 7. Welcome to the stream, guys. Alright, so Gun takes down the Spinarak. Right now, we are trying to level up our Pokemon to level 12. Because I know the Sprout Tower is going to be a little bit higher level than the trainers we've been battling here. So, don't want to go in and be surprised and get knocked out. Aw, oh, man. Let me, let, me, let me back out of this real quick and put uh, one of my other Pokemon in the front. Alright, here we go. Gun's gonna take the lead for now, and let's get him to level 12. Oh, an execute. Execute. 
All right, we get our tackle off. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, and it goes for the hypnosis here to put our Pokemon to sleep. So, mildly annoying. We're going to go ahead and switch out to Eevee. Oh, and it goes for a second hypnosis. That's really annoying. It's okay. It's fine. Let's go ahead and wake up and give it a good old tackle. Or not. Alright, so it's going for Mega Drain here. I'm assuming that's going to do a decent chunk. Okay, it doesn't. Alright. Wake up, Eevee. Obi-Wan, you are our only hope. Please wake up. Welcome to the stream. We are playing some Drayano Hack Pokemon. And we are grinding up a few levels to make sure we do not get demolished in Sprout Tower. Alright, so it finally goes for a Reflect, which is pretty cool animation in this game, honestly. But down goes the Execute. Alright. Two more levels on our normal type Pokemon, and we will be comfortably ready to face the Bellsprout Tower. And then rock that gym. I wish. I wish I had a rock type Pokemon for the gym, but sadly we do not. But we still have a chance to catch a Pokemon in the Sprout Tower. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Hmm, should I, should I, yes, I'm going to go ahead and try to catch a Pokemon in the Sprout Tower real quick, see if it'll fit our team, or at least help us with the gym at all. Alright, here we go. We're entering the Sprout Tower. Welcome to the stream. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we can catch here at the Sprout Tower. Dreano, what did you put in here for us to catch? Alright, first encounter. Let's see what we get. Ooh, a Drifloon. That's actually not bad. And the wild Pokemon are level 12, so I'm assuming, you know, it's going to be the same for, uh, excuse me. It's going to be the same for the trainers here. So we're going to go ahead and go for the bite. Should it knock it out? Alright, perfect. Let's go for one more bite. It goes for constrict. Alright, we're getting it in the red area. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and throw this Pokeball. Welcome to the stream. We are trying to catch our Drifloon for the Nuzlocke. And we caught it! Gotcha. Drifloon was caught. Alright, so perfect. We have a Drifloon to add to our team. Which can be useful against the Flying Gym, I believe. At least they can't hit us with the... Mud Slap and... What else? Regular, normal type attacking moves. But flying type moves will still affect us. But let's go ahead and name it FBD. It's not going to fit what I wanted. So FBD is going to be what it is. It's Free Balloon Day. Free Balloon Day is our new Pokemon on our team. Let's go see if we can catch another Pokemon. Greatly, it's already level 12. So we ain't got to grind that one too much. Alright, and the goal for this episode is to get our whole team to level 14 by the end of the Sprout Tower and battle the gym. Well, let's go ahead and see what we can catch over here. I really hope it's not just a freaking, uh, what you call it. Unknown. I hope there's something better to catch than just an unknown. Alright, Ruins of Alf. Let's see what we can catch here. 
Ooh, I like the Needle King statues. Or do we have to trigger the event first? Oh, no. Let's go ahead and run around for a second. I'm going to do one more lap. And if not, I'm going to assume we just have to do the puzzle real quick. And we'll do it. Get it out of the way. All right. Looks like we need to do the puzzle. Oh, we'll push the wrong button. Ooh, thought I was gonna have a Pokemon Center incident again. All right, well let's go ahead and do this puzzle real quick. Okay, or this way? Yeah, <laughs> went the wrong way. All right, let's see. It's obviously a Kabuto. And do we have to do? Oh, okay. All right, let's see. There we go. That's why I wasn't working. And we activated the puzzle. So now we should be able to catch something here. Ooh, okay, here we go. Did you just come down from above? So you must have solved the stone panel puzzle. That is wonderful. You seem to have some talent with archaeology. I will give you this unknown report. All right, whack. So it might just be the unknown Pokemon we can catch. We'll find out. Sorry, I'm gassy. Just eight. Eight tacos too. So the burping is because of that. Oh, and look how fitting we found a J. Oh, that's a pretty powerful unknown as well. Let's just hope it's not hidden power fighting. Oh, so it has secret power too. Whoa, that was a powerful hit. That sucks. So Red Tata goes down. Okay, so secret power is a normal type move. We got to heal. FBD. All right. Hidden power. What hidden power is it? Please don't be super effective. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal up again. We might just have to run away. Let's go ahead and go for the Astonish here. Okay, good thing is it's going for secret powers. Perfect. Let's keep it that way. All right. Let's see if we can get off one more astonish. Perfect. All right. Now we can throw a Pokeball. Pokeball, go! All right. And unknown was caught. Beautiful. Because we sacrificed our Rattata for that. <laughs> So unknowns data was added to the Pokedex. And we're just gonna name it Jay. Welcome to the stream. We are doing a Drayano hack. We just caught a Pokemon and also another death. So fantastic. But I feel like it was a decent trade-off. It was just a Rattata. And we got an unknown out of it, so. Let's go ahead and try to get back to the city and start leveling up the Pokemon that aren't level 12 to level 12. We should just be the Eevee now. Alright. And we're on our way. 
Not to Viridian City, though. All right, would you like us to take your Pokemon? Yes, I would. And now we can leave. Let's go ahead and put Rattata in the box of dead Pokemon. Yeah, gun. Uh, you got taken away by the Democrats because uh, back to the box with you. It appears we have four deaths already, so. Four deaths, and then we have four Pokemon, so. Eh, not doing too shabby. Alright, hold on. Hello there, trainer. Would you like to take a quick quiz? Excellent, let's get started. Question one. Were, were any Hoenn Pokemon obtainable within leaf, Fire Red and Leaf Green? Correct. Time for question number two. Is Dragonair more than 13 feet long? Yes. Correct. So my final question. Is it true that the Bulbasaur was the first Pokemon created? No. Rhydon was. Can Tropius be found within Diamond and Pearl? No. That was a guess. Congratulations. You completed the quiz. You can now pick a prize Pokemon. And I'm going Charmander, baby. Joe received a Charmander. Hell yeah, I did. And we are going to nickname it Champ. So I guess, Nerese, we actually did get to, uh, we actually do get to do our Charizard game right now, after all. Because uh, Champ is in. Let's see if I get a hold of you. Nerese. Charmander. So beautiful. Let's see what level that Charmander is. Oh, my back. All right, level 10. Not too bad. We can uh, level that up real quick, too. It is relaxed nature, which isn't horrible, but could be better. All right, brave nature. That's uh, a physical... Drifloon, okay. So, so far, our natures haven't been too great for us. But it's better than nothing. So, Eevee, let's go ahead and get you leveled up just a little bit. Alrighty. Bell sprout. Bell sprout. Bell sprout. Evie's gonna take out this bell sprout. Go tackle. Come on, Evie, you should be one hit KOing these fools. These fools. Alright. Well, hopefully everyone is enjoying their Saturday night. Might need to pick a new day to stream, though, because no one seems to like watching streams on Saturday night. Might have to go with Sunday night. But we will see. Hopefully I don't have to break my routine. The Wild Spinarak, you string shot. Yeah, and now it's about to go down to a tackle. And we're still faster. Beautiful. Spinarak. Spinarak was not able to take us down, so Eevee prevails. And another Spinarak comes. Can you be shiny? I'd like you to be shiny. Get, add some excitement to my grinding montage. And we are grinding here, tackling spiders. I saw a brown clues today. I'm gonna go look at a house. And then saw that big old spider just climbing up the side of the side of the house. It's like Jesus Christ. That's scary. 
to be honest, TBH. All right, we got another exec execute. Let's try and get it not to put us to sleep this time. Flinch. Okay. Uproar is not too bad. Oh, it actually did make some pretty good damage. But Eevee does take it down here. And hopefully that's enough to get us level 11. And it is! So we need to fight some executes because they got some EXP to give. EXP to give. EXP to give. Oh, look, a Buizel! Very interesting. A very rare encounter. Let's go ahead and just go for the tackle. So it does get the growl off. Oh, and it's a critical hit. Weasel goes down. Wonderful. Growl didn't even matter. Alright, so a Natu finally appears again. I guess since we don't have a fighting type out, Natu is just like, eh, I'm not gonna bother. But I guess I also got bored because it's out here now. Alright. No! That's not what we want. Eevee, you must prevail. Alright, let's go ahead and switch out here to champ. I don't want to risk hitting myself and then getting confusion. Ooh, air cutter. Jesus. That is a powerful move. Alright, champ goes for Ember and takes down the Natu. Eevee gets 36 and so does champ and we're working our way up. Now champ has a chance to get some EXP as well. Let's go ahead and give it a potion to Eevee. It's down in the yellow over there. Over there! All right, all right, all right. All right, now we got a spinner rack over here. And we're just gonna go ahead and tackle it to death. Ooh, one hit kill. Eevee is a top ranked Eevee, top percentage. And I so want it to be a, uh, what do you call it? I really want it to be a Vaporeon already. We need that bulky water type. There's plenty of bulky waters out here. Well, I guess not bulky, but plenty of waters. All right, EV, let's go. Two more battles to 11. All right, obviously we're gonna switch out here. We're not gonna waste our time. But now that we have a Charmander, this should be pretty easy to take down. Alright, Ember Special, so it should take this thing down, no problem. Kakuna goes down. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, what do we got here? Oh, Buizel. All right, Eevee, do your best. Okay, so Quick Talk pops off, does decent damage, but not enough to make me worry. We get our tackle off, no problem. Goes for Water Sport. You must know I have a Charmander in the back. But that does nothing because Buizel goes down. Ooh, so close. I was really hoping that would have gotten me right where I needed to be. And yet another spinner rack. We're gonna go ahead and give it a tackle. Not quite knocking it out. This one's pretty defensive. String shot pops off, and then earth, uh, Earthquake. Tackle takes it out. 
And we reached level 12! 12! 12! 12! 12! Beautiful. Alright, champ. I need you to get to level 12 so we can officially move on and start our Bell Sprout Tower. Oh, welcome to the stream. How you doing? How you doing? We are on a grinding quest to try to get all of our Pokemon to level 12 for the Bell Sprout Tower. So hopefully they can be level 15, 14 or 15 by the time we're done with it. That was a waste of an ember. Another Abra. What are the odds? There are a lot of Pokemon on this route. Now that I realize. Can't escape. Teleport. Marcus! Welcome to the stream! Milestone follower it shows. This champ is also a favorite of mine. We got Bell Sprout here, and we should be able to take it out easily with an Ember. What's going on, Marcus? How's your night going? Thank you for joining me on this wonderful Saturday night. I, too, am enjoying the day. Abra. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're the only one who pronounces Abra, Abra. Or you can pronounce it Abra. It's Abra. Bill Sprout goes down. Critical hit. Ooh, overkill. Yes, level 11. So close to level 12. We're almost there, guys. The strenuous part is almost over. The fun part is about to begin. Oh, and another bell sprout. Speaking of bell sprout tower, we're gonna burn that place to the fucking ground. Bell sprout. Bell sprout. Charmander. All right. Let's see. Another bell sprout. Man, we got a chain going. Let's get that shiny out here. The shiny. Mark, is you playing some Metal Gear or Snake or whatever that game's called? Oh, we got another Abra here. Yep, figure teleport, obviously. What are you, a legendary dog? Stop running away. Fight me. Fight like a man. And another bell sprout. At least these are easy kills right here. Watch. Uh, it lives on one and then counters my ch my Charizard Charmander. It fucking kills me. And level 12 is what we hit. Aw, oh, shit. You've been on FIFA. I just whooped Steven's butt last night in FIFA. He thought he could beat me with his little FC Barcelona team, and I got him. Okay, now we can heal up and start our journey through the Bellsprout Tower. I've been passing a lot more too in that game. So he's just like, oh, it's bullshit. It's not fair. It's like, well, life isn't fair. Alright. I know there's an item somewhere around here. Oh, uh, no. I don't have Rock Smash yet, so I can't get that. But I think we can get an item from the teacher here. Uh, bonjour. Oh, no, I didn't. 
I need to put I lost oh then you should study follow me twirly 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 He doesn't give you the quick claw. I thought he did, but he doesn't. All right, good. I'll teach you. Top of the list, bottom of the list. All right, we're good to go. Let's see if uh, one of these gives us a berry or something. I remember we get something. Nope. That looked promising. He did talk about berries. Maybe I'm just going crazy here. All right, we're making a group and we're going to nickname it PML. Just in case you didn't know, I am a admin of a group called PML. Where we do Pokemon drafts and battles and gyms. But right now, I'm streamer. I'm streamer, Joe. And we're making our way finally to the Bellsprout Tower. Where Charmander's gonna lead the way here. And hopefully get to a decent level to where we can start uh, challenging the gym. Like I said, every uh, his top Pokemon is 15. So we want to try at least be 14. All right, so we got Sunkern. Interesting. Sunkern is in the Bell Sprout Tower. Oh, and I overcompensated the levels for nothing because they're level eight. Fun. Well, guys, sorry for that long and agonizing grind. I guess it's better than actually losing the Pokemon, though. All right, let's go ahead and go out to Eevee here. Try to get everyone. Equal amount of EXP so we can all get to the level we want to be at. So Ralts is going to go down to a bite, hopefully. Alright, Ralts goes down. Bellsprout comes in. We switch back to Char Charmander. Charmander! Sounds like a, an, a bird. Hmm. Where's the wrong move? So Bellsprout buffs his special attack, but goes down. You should have buffed your special defense, buddy. All right, so Bellsprout goes down. Oh, and we're so close to that level 13. All right, another Bellsprout, so easy Ember. And with that, we officially hit level 13 with Charmander here. Sweet. Now we can lead the next battle with... Oh, Metal Claw. Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and switch it out for Growl. Alright. Forgot Growl and learn Metal Claw. I think uh, Smokescreen is going to come in handy. Oh, actually, probably not. Can I for birds it's okay well at least uh we do have one level 15 pokemon even though it is uh what do you call it uh, unknown a b c d e f g h i j is the unknown we have welcome Jaden and matilda Hopefully you're enjoying the stream. We are making our way to the Bell Sprout Tower. And Eevee is leading the way. Alright. Bell Sprout gets hit with the growth. Or uses growth, I should say. But goes down to a tackle. Alright, and Eevee's getting those sweet, sweet uh, EXP points. Ooh, but an Execute comes in at level 9. We go ahead and give it a Mighty Bite, and it flinches! Eevee uses Bite again, and the Execute goes down. Sweetness. Alrighty, guys, let's see what next Pokemon he has in store for us. 
Eevee wants to learn Grail? Well, don't. Ooh, next comes in is a Poliwag. Let's go ahead and go Rakishi here. Whoa! Alright, so Poliwag is in, and I'm gonna go arm thrusting in. Thrusting these arms right into his face. Let's see if we can't get the knockout here. One, two, two times. All right, we're going to go ahead and just go for the tackle here. Oh, one more hit and it goes down. Oh, we evade the hypnosis and tackle comes off. Polywag goes down. Polywag is poly dead. And we defeat Trainer Dog Chow. Alright, so we have Eevee at level 13. Let's go ahead and swap it up to Free Balloon Day to lead the charge. It is a flying type. It does have Gust, so we should be good. But officer, we stole a balloon! Yeah, on National Free Balloon Day. All right, so now let's see what Edmund has. He has a Mareep. He has a Mareep that's going to reap the rewards of me leading with the flying type Pokemon. Let's go ahead and switch out to Rakishi here. All right, Mareep used Growl, which isn't the best for us, but, you know, we'll make it work. Go for a tackle here. Uh, it does weak damage, but we got to keep going. All right, let's go ahead and go for the arm thrust. Let's get that stab boost. Oh, and we get para. Not the best position to be in, but we did get three hits. Thundershot comes off. Oh, and does a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and go J here. And that Thundershock did quite a bit of damage. Okay, so J can take those hits. Let's go ahead and go for a hidden power. If it's super effective, it's ground. Okay, so it's not ground, but it's neutral, which could be anything else. Alright, so he got the charge up again. Special defense raise. Hidden power comes off and knocks it out. Alright. We dealt with the first real threat we had to deal with in this in this tower. Alright, there's a hoot hoot. Let's go ahead and go back out to free balloon day. Okay, so we see Free Balloon Day. I mean, we see Hoot Hoot on the other side, and Free Balloon Day is going to go for Gust here. And does a decent chunk. Looks about a four hit KO. Gust again. Air Cutter actually connects this time. Ooh, and we take that pretty well. I'm down with that. And this will be a four hit KO, so one more gust here should take it out. Alright, who, who goes down here? And Free Balloon Day got a bunch of EXP on that one. Let's go ahead and go for a gust here against Oddish. Alright, so it's going to be a two-hit KO. Acid comes off. Not very effective. No poison. Great. Gust comes off, and down goes the Otters. Wonderful! And Free Balloon Day grows to level 13. OG status. I'm weak! Yeah, I know. Well, that Mareep wasn't. That's for damn sure. 
So let's go ahead and heal up our mons. And let's go ahead and give a para heal to Rakishi here. And move him to the front of the team. All right, wonderful. Now we can move on. Oh, shit. Come on. Go up the ladder. I trained to find enlightenment. Well, now you're training to lose. Bell Sprout comes out. Oh, it's a level 12 Bell Sprout, too. So, we are officially in uncharted territories around here. Bell Sprout goes for growth and boosts his special attack. He's not a special attacker, though, so it kind of works out in our favor. It's kind of a free turn. And Estriano gave it some crazy. Razor Leaf comes off physical move. Oh, but it does a decent amount of damage. Alright, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and go to Free Balloon Day. That Tim of Nature is really coming back to bite us in the ass. Ooh, critical hit. Fuck off. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go for the Gust here. We're faster. We should knock it out. And Bellsprout goes down. Thank you, Free Balloon Day, for saving Rakishi's life. Alright, so it wants to learn Fake Out. We'll forget Vital Throw. Basically gives, basically gives us a free first turn. And honestly, I think... Uh, I think uh, Rakishi might be a sacrifice in the gym. Because, uh, yeah. That timid ability is really affecting the way it hits. Welcome to the stream. We are almost through the Bell Sprout Tower. We are going to have to uh, switch out here for sure. We are going to have to go back down to heal. Almost out of healing items. Need to buy more. Okay, and Rakishi seems to be in a very tough spot. Good thing I didn't use those last two potions. Let's go ahead and heal up. <sighs> Rakishi, how you've disappointed me. Yeah, we're taking all that damage. So even if we lose Rakishi here, I guess it's not the end of the world, but... Get, uh, losing Pokemon is getting old. Okay, so Razor Leaf comes off. Oh my god. Yeah, we might lose Rakishi here. Let's just go ahead and go for the tackle. Goes for growth. Yeah, we're not going to live whatever comes next. Vine Whip. We live it, but I think Rap takes us out. Hopefully, we get freed. No, we do not. Oh, okay, go for growth. Beautiful. Tackle. Crit. All right, now free. Okay, whew. Woo. Rakishi, you lucky son of a gun. All right, champ, come in here. Do not kill my Charmander. That would be very depressing. Okay, let's go ahead and go for the Ember here. Finish this thing off. <sighs> Luckily, we are saved by the bell. Rakishi just got uh, out of the grasp of that bell sprout. But now we're going to go ahead and put Eevee up front because it has the runaway ability. We're going to go heal up, come back with more items. Because uh, that was a very scary moment. As much as I said uh, Rakishi might be fodder, I was not ready to let it die there. He needs to die where it's important. Where everyone will remember his name. 
No one's gonna remember him uh, against a wild bell sprout in the sprout tower. Rakishi cannot die in vain. Oh, but anyways, we're going to the gym. Uh, gym. No, we're not going to the gym yet. We still gotta fight two, three more guys. Oh, what am I doing? That's not the Pokemon Center. Welcome to the stream, Linda. My wonderful wife. My wonderful wife. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Go buy some potions, of course. And then try to finish off that Bellsprout Tower and the gym. And maybe do a little bit of the next route. I am down to clown. I am down to clown all around. I never frown. Alright, so potions we can get. Oof. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get seven potions. Go ahead and get another pair of lights. Oh no, we have one. Okay. Okay, we got two of those. We should be fine. So let's go ahead and go back into the Bell Sprout Tower and beat the guy, the sage, right? He's a sage or a monk. I don't remember. But he gives us the TM for Flash. So that's important. So we can see inside the dark cave. Whoa, what's that music? Oh, I thought we got a wild Pokemon for a second. I was like, no, we're doing so good. All right. No, wrong button. Eevee! Let's go ahead and go back this way. All right, and let's fight that second trainer. Elders TM uh, does something to the darkness. I would guess relieve the darkness or something like that. Alright, so we do have a level 11 Psyduck. So we're going to go ahead and go for that stab tackle attack. Doesn't quite do over half. Lowers our defense, but we're going to go for the tackle again. Oh, almost got the high roll. Uh... Lowers our defense and then goes for a special move. Very smart on your part, Psyduck. But we get that first one down. Alright, we got the Battle of the Heavyweights. Bulbasaur versus Charmander. Champ is going to come out on top, of course, because this is Pokemon. Type advantage always wins, right? No, oh, not if you don't push a super effective move. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get tackled. Decent damage, but Ember should take it out from here. Bulbasaur goes down with the crit. Overkill, overkill, overkill. Ooh, almost level 14. Alright, so we have not two coming out. We're going to go ahead and go back to the Eevee. I don't want to go out to... Out, why didn't I go out to Drifloon? I could have. It's okay. It's fine. We're here. we go ahead and tackle. Ooh, and almost got the one-hit KO. Air Cutter comes off, though. How much is that going to do? Not too much. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get this tackle off again. Critical hit. Overkill. Again. 171. And we are almost there to level 14. So we're going to go ahead and lead with Eevee once more. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. Alright, Abra comes out. Uh, probably has hidden power. Um, we're going to go bite. Okay, it uses teleport. Beautiful. I'm cool with that. Ooh, and bite takes it down with one hit. No crit needed. And we hit level 14, which is wonderful. It's exactly what we wanted. Alright, Hoot Hoot's coming out. Let's go ahead and go to Champ. All right, champ is in. The champ is ready. The champ is here, here. All right, we're going to go ahead and go Ember. 
And if you didn't catch the reference, it was an old John Cena. Oh, man, the hypnosis comes off. All right, so the champ is sleeping. The champ is snoozing. Let's just hope the champ ain't losing. Oh, critical hit. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch out here to FBD. Free balloon day. Because uh, I'm not trying to risk another crit here. This who who is shown that it's being a problem. But I feel we should be fine with this gust. And we don't have any uh, sleep hill items, so we might have to leave the tower to come back. Alright, so Gus comes off. Well, leave the tower to heal. And then come back. Champ grew to level 14, which is wonderful. Ooh, an execute comes in. Would have been a great chance for Charmander to battle, but... It's okay. We still have the type advantage. Let's go ahead and get the gust going. Alright, sweet. No hypnosis, please. Okay, it goes for reflect, which is fine. So the defense is raised. That's one move. Well, it's one turn, so four more turns. So this is two. Ooh, and a free balloon day gets that level jump. No need for focus energy on this mon. So we're going to forget it. Hopip. Alright, another great Pokemon for Charmander to take down. But we're going to go ahead and stay in here. While uh, Free Balloon Day has the going get good. And we're going to go ahead and gust here. Oh, and an almost one hit KO'd. We do get Poison Powder though. Luckily we have some antidotes in the back. So after the battle we can heal. But for now, we're going to go ahead and go for the Gust again. Knock this Hoppip out. And we're sitting pretty. We are sitting pretty. Ooh, almost level 15. Yes, your trust is real. Send some money to mama. Flowers to mama. Yeah, Joey, I'm going to ignore you. Because I need to go heal. Oh, shit. Yeah, we need a... No, not potion. We're going to go to the Pokemon Center. But we do need to get rid of that poison. Because back in these days, they faint. Um, I do believe maybe they live on one, but I don't want to risk it. Okay. Bellsprout, I'm going to need you to leave me alone. I just need a heal. I just need a heal right now. <laughs> yeah, Evie's just like, what are we doing, boss? What are we doing, boss? What are we doing, boss? Where are we going? Come on, get me there! Get me there! Or it has to go pee pee. I don't know. The choice is yours. Oh, a stunky. Either way, we are running because we need that HP in our life. But yeah, Marcus, that's how you know my Eevee's a ride or die. It's ready to bite motherfuckers. It's ready to go. Kill on site. Alright, let's go ahead and enter this Pokemon Center. Heal up really fast. Best. And that's it. We can go back. Loving that we got our Charmander on this on this uh, run. Because, you know me, I love me some Charmander. Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. That is my favorite thing to do. Whoa. Shard de Berry. Shard de Berry. I trade Berry for a Shard. If you bring me some shards, I will give you the berry, three berries, yeah. All right, well that's cool to know. So if I ever need berries, I know where to go. That guy, that guy right there. I just need shards. I shard all the time though. I'm just kidding. That's gross. But 
Will he take my shards if I shard? Or does he want Pokemon shards only? I could have Eevee shard in his hand. And I get three berries. Is that how it works? No, it's not. But what if? Alright, so we are almost to the tippy tippy top again. And we're going to have a little bit of dialogue. I don't remember what I gave this guy's voice. Oh yeah, he was Yelly McYelly Pants. But Rakishi, uh, sit your ass back. You don't, you're not needed right now. You show us that you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this elemental stone. However, you care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat Pokemon can be harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Hmm. He calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture you should be nice to Pokemon. They cannot defeat me. I, all I care about are how strong my Pokemon are. So they win. The rest of me, nothing. Nothing. It's twirly twirly. Okay, so he twirled out of our lives right there. Very intense, sir. I don't know why you got to be yelling all the time. But that's our rival. His name's Kyle. That should explain everything. His name's Kyle. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and flee with the runaway and come get this item here. And it is also an escape rope so we can twirly twirly when we're done. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna get an elemental stone here, which is amazing, honestly. Did he just say allow me to beat them cheeks? <coughs> no, sir. I'm going to report you to the FDA. How does that make sense? It doesn't. But tackle. Tackle your bell sprout. Tackle your beanstalk. Eevee takes that like a G and dishes it back out. Bell sprout. Go oh no, a bell sprout doesn't go down. Oh, you cheeky little bastard. So he goes flash to lower our accuracy, but it doesn't work out in his favor because we hit. All right, we got a chingling. All right, we're going to go free balloon day here. Free balloon day here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, wow, that sounded futuristic. Astonish. We're going to surprise you to death. Oh, another flash user. What a bastard. Alright, astonish. Are you astonished I didn't miss? Oh yeah, flinch, bitch. Die. Keep wasting your time. Ooh, a critical hit. That was demoralizing. Free balloon day. Grew to level 15. Alright, so he's sending out a hoot hoot. I'm gonna go ahead and go champ here. All right, hoot hoot. Don't do your worst. Just leave me the fuck alone. All right, goes aerial lace. Okay, not too bad. Let's go ahead and get that burn, baby. Nope. Oh, great. We're asleep again. Should have bought an awakening. That's what I should have done. All right, so let's go ahead and try to wake up here. Goes for aerial lace again. Charmander woke up, Metal Claw. Hell yeah. And we get the attack boost. Um, I think he goes for Hypnosis again, so let's just go for the potion. Because we need that uh, HP. Alright, he goes Confusion here. And we take that. We take those. Yay, yay. Gang, gang. Confusion again. We can take that no problem, sir. Let's go ahead and get this Metal Claw off. Boost our attack again. Can we do it? No, we don't. But we can go ahead and take it out with this uh, last Metal Claw here. Confusion puts us at about half. And Metal Claw takes that thing down. Looking good, G. 
I like your cut, G. Alright, so we have a Cheruby, and we should be able to take that out easily with an Ember. Wonderful! Critical hit, super effective, everything in between. Ooh, we don't get to quite 15, but hey, I'll take it. Hmm, the way you battle, it's elegant. You should be able to stand up to Falconer. Let me offer you a reward. What do you want your Eevee to turn into? Vaporeon, baby! Let's go! Let's get it! Alright, so it's a Water Stone here. And he gave us a TM for Flash. Wonderful. Uh-oh. Mother? What do you want, Mother? Did you spend my money, you whore? Oh, hi, Joe. How are you? I found a useful item while shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, but I asked the delivery man to take it to you, so... You should stop by the nearest Pokemon or department store and pick it up. I know it'll be useful. Unlike your life. Alright, well, we can go ahead and... Zippity doo dah, zippity day at the fuck here. That made no sense. But we're twirly twirly and we're gone. All right, guys, are y'all ready for this excitement that you're about to witness on your screen? Evie is about to evolve. Oh, oh, oh. Whatever could it be, sir? It's a Vaporeon. Oh boy. Did you see that? It just turned into a seal. Alright, so now we officially have a fully evolved Pokemon on our squad. Very bulky, very beautiful. Majestic AF. You know what I mean? And eventually in water type moves. But it's a great enhancement of what we had before. So. Let's go ahead, heal up, go get our item that our mother bought with our money. Because she's a broke piece of trash. <sighs> anyway, and then we can go ahead and battle the gym leader. So let's go see what is in store for us. We have something waiting on us. Oh yeah, it's something very useful, I think. In the Pokemon store. I got a package for you. Well, gross, dude. I don't want your package. I'll take the Super Potion, though. Alright, so for this gym, I'm going to go ahead and move Champ up to the front. Try to get that level up against uh, the gym trainer. Because there are two. You can avoid them, but why would we do that? And we have a Spiro on the squad, or on the team. Our squad does not have a Spiro. Alright, so he goes for the Pursuit, which is not Stab, so we're good there. You go ahead and get the kill on Sparrow. Champ grew to level 15, which is wonderful. Alright, Pidgey's come in. We're going to switch to Vaporeon. Alright, so let's see. Tackle. Tackle is going to be our best bet here. It does over half. Pidgey goes for Pluck, but we have no Berry. So, Tackle away it goes, and two-hit KO the Pidgey. Alright, so now we have Doduo coming in, and I guess we could stay with Vaporeon. All I know is we certainly won't be using... Uh, Rakishi in this gym. But he will be our death fodder because a timid fighting type sucks. Okay, so Do 
duo lives on one. How ridiculous. But Do Duo goes down. And we almost hit the level 15. Even though you're a rookie trainer, you're not bothered by these heights at all. You're really something. Well, thank you, kind sir. I like to think I am in the top percentage of Pokemon battlers. Okay, so we need to heal up here. Let's go ahead and give a heal to Charmander. One more level and we have a Charmeleon, guys. So that's what that's can't fucking wait. Can't wait. But we do need to get our Vapor on level 15 as well. We don't want to be too over leveled for this gym. And we do want to have our options open to more than just one Pokemon to sweep the whole gym. Alright, so we do have a tail low here. We're going to go ahead and try to knock it out with the tackle. Does over half, so it's good. And we outspeed that time. So we take down the Taylo. We grain. We grain. We gain uh, some EXP to get to level 15. And now we can switch out. Oh no. We got a Wingle. We're going to stay in. Alright, let's go ahead and go for Bite here. Let's get some flinches. Ooh, beautiful damage. And we'll go for another Bite. And Wingle goes down. Alright, so Natsu's coming in. Now we go to champ. Doubt we will get there, but let's go ahead and try to get it to level 16 before the gym leader. Ember goes off. And it does over half, so it's good. Okay, so that confusion does a good chunk, but this takes out the Natsu. No problem. Alright, so Zubat's coming in. Let's see if we can get it knocked out with an Ember. Does over half again. Astonish comes off. Shouldn't do too much damage there. Ember comes out. Do we get the no do we get enough EXP for that level 16 jump? Oh, not even close. Oh well. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and potion up our team. So, so far, Vaporeon and Charmander have done a great job taking care of this team so far. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and put Charmander up front. And let's go ahead and take on Faulkner here. Okay, I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can... You can clip flying type Pokemon wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of majestic of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Okay, you do that. I'm gonna watch you lose. So it seems he has a full team of six. So that is, remember, this is a Gerano game, so it's going to be a little bit different. Down here in the south, we do gym battles a little bit different. Ooh, and we get the burn. Wonderful. Cuts his attack in half. So it's, imagine how much that would have done. Down goes Doduo. And we get to level 16, so as long as we don't lose Charmander, we will be getting... Ooh, Dragon Rage, yes! Uh, we will be getting a Charmeleon. Alright, so why I'm so excited is because Dragon Rage is just 40 damage no matter what. So this is very good for us. Most Pokemon of this levels don't have more than 40 HP. 
Okay, so he gets the leg up on us. Stop, stop. Okay, Dragon Rage. Knock it out, please. Okay, so he just has over 40 HP. Alright, we're going to go ahead and switch out here to Vaporeon. Who is a defensive tank in its own right. Let's see how it tanks this Aerial Ace. Pretty well. Much better than our, uh, our uh, Charmander took it, anyway. And, oh my gosh. Okay, so that's not good for us. Let's go ahead and try to get a bite on it. Let's try to get some flinches here. Okay, nope. Aerial Ace goes off. Oh, critical hit. That sucks. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go to J here. All right, Jay, please take this hit well. Okay, he does take it well. All right, we're going to go ahead and not waste too much time. We're going to go ahead and go for the Super Potion on Vaporeon. Because we need it. Aerial Ace does not miss either, so... Uh, it lives if it's not a crit. So I'm going to heal up Champ too. Champ as well. Okay. So. Mm. <sighs> Rakishi. Sorry dude. But I need a safe switch in. And I feel like Unknown's going to do a little bit better for us than you. Oh it goes tackle. Nice. Uh, let's go fake out here. Alright, let's see. You know what, let's go Vaporeon here. Let's try not to lose a Pokemon in this gym battle. Ooh, it goes, it went tackle. Maybe it's out of Aerial Aces. Alright, let's go for the bite, get the flinch. Oh, it goes roost. Oh, how annoying. Okay, bite. I'm just going to keep biting it to death. Alright, flinch. Perfect. One more flinch. Roost, of course. Damn it. Okay, let's go ahead and bite. Flinch. Oh, it's just going to roost now. That's annoying. So it's at full health. Let's go ahead and go for bite. Aerial Ace. So it does still have Aerial Ace. Oh, another crit? Hey, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's go potion up. If he crits again, that's... That's not fair at all. We haven't gotten a crit. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. FBD. Okay, predicted that. Go ahead and go for Gust. Shouldn't be a problem. Alright, now we're going to sacrifice Rakishi. Sorry, Rakishi, but you gotta go. Go to Charmander, and we need to Dragon Rage. Whoo, this is a tough battle. Okay, we live. Dragon Rage goes off. And does enough damage. Beautiful. Char uh, Charmander saved us right there. Thank you for your service, Rakishi. Alright, chat talk comes in. Uh I'm gonna go I'm gonna go FDB here. 
It's another normal flying. Oh man, and he has a full team still. Okay. Let's go ahead and potion up on Charmander. All right, he goes Chatter here, which is whoa. Okay, so we might lose another Pokemon here. We're gonna go ahead and switch out to Jay. I'd rather lose Unknown than Drifloon. Wow, Chatter. I thought Chatter was a normal type move, but I guess not. Okay, let's go ahead and go for Dragon Rage. That's not good. Chatot's faster. And we're out of potions here, guys. So that this is a really tough spot. Bruto. And flying types are naturally speedy. All right, so we got a fire fetch, and that might be pretty bulky. It is level twelve. Let's go, Dragon Rage. Oh, Aerial Ace. No, it's faster. Can we take it? And we don't. Champ goes down. Fuck. Yeah, guys, we we lose the Drayano. We lose the Drayano battle. <laughs> wow, guys, this is embarrassing. Okay. Ah, <sighs> boy. Aerial Ace to take us down. Oh, we live. Critical hit as well. Oh, fantastic. Alright, guys. Well, we lose the Jayano hack at the first gym. Which is fantastic. Um, I will be restarting this, I guess. I mean, I only did two streams of it, so. Oh, that sucks. But it is the way the cookie crumbles. Um, yeah, way to end the stream. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you next time because, I mean, nothing more I can do here. Uh, I will restart. I'll do all the tutorial stuff and we'll can, we'll start after, you know, after I actually get to where I need to be. But that's it for me, guys. I will see you guys next time.